to have on the stage Aspect Health. Big round of applause for Aspect Health. Hey everyone, my name is Gleb and I'm the founder and CEO of Aspect Health. At Aspect we build a digital service for women struggling with uh, hormone imbalances and metabolic syndrome. But before I start, I want to tell you a quick story. Now I'm 21 years old and uh, might appear pretty fit, but it wasn't always like that. In my childhood I was struggling with obesity and hormone imbalances. And basically my body started developing following female patterns. It was pretty tough, I experienced a lot of bullying at school, and I remember one day, we were on our back home with our parents, with my parents, from the doctor's visit, where I've been told that I would never be able to have kids and become a father. It destroyed my psyche, and I decided to drop out of school to enter medical university at the age of 15. I was fortunate to work with professors from Harvard and MIT to found a resolution for my problem, and I decided that I wanted to share it with more people. Fortunately, men are rarely affected by this problem, but one in 10 women in the world experience the symptoms of the similar disorder when they have excessive male hormones in their body. And the disorder is called PCOS, and it affects one in 10 of women worldwide. One in 10 is more than diabetes, and probably none of you have ever heard about it. Why? Maybe because we just call it with four letters, PCOS. It doesn't cause any feelings or emotions on you, but these women struggle on a daily basis with such symptoms as irregular periods, acne, infertility, mood swings, and so on. Most importantly, uncontrollable weight gain. They have a 50% higher risk of miscarriage, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. And here at Aspect, we built the first digital health service for women struggling with PCOS. Because the roots of the disease very similar to diabetes, it's also a metabolic and hormonal disorder, we have took the best practices from the treatment of diabetes and applied it to PCOS. I built this together with my co-founder. His name is Elad. He was a product leader at Nike and Noom. Noom is a $4 billion company today, where they basically applied this lifestyle modification protocol that showed a 60% higher efficacy than the leading diabetes drug at the time. They applied it to pre-diabetes and weight loss. Now we apply it to PCOS. But we didn't really just take existing protocol uh, and copy-pasted it. Instead, we have rethought it from the ground up. We, uh, we, we upgraded it so it would fit the unique female biology and, and take advantage of the new world of wearable technologies and AI. To be more specific, we utilize data from continuous glucose monitors and wearables and at-home tests to feed it into our ML model so it would tailor the, the recommendations specifically for each user. In addition, we created our proprietary protocol that utilizes AI-assisted coaching and real-time feedback to provide you an um, easier approach to build new habits. And now the final, final word. Thank you. Time is over. Three minutes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Judges, five minutes for you. What uh, studies are you using for the ML and for giving out recommendations? What do you mean studies? What are you basing or re your recommendations on? Our recommendations are based on NTPP. NTPP is a protocol that was developed uh, by CDC, the biggest, one of the biggest healthcare organizations in the US, and it showed an efficacy 60% higher than, than metformin, leading diabetes drug. We took this approach, we took the science, uh, latest science in PCOS, we found that the root causes of diabetes and PCOS are similar, and we applied it uh, to PCOS. And you can find that uh, our results, 70% of women who joined our fertility trial were successfully pregnant within the first 30, three months. And on average, they lose 13 pounds during the first 30 days. So it's already working. And just to make sure we're on the same page, it doesn't require any FDA approval. We provide recommendations only related to lifestyle changes. That's why we are already on the market, we're already selling, we already have traction. And you're selling B2C to the patients directly, right? We start from B2C and we will, right now, we are already testing distribution through doctors and then we will go to uh, enterprises to work with health benefit managers because it's a very prevalent disorder and uh, no one company tackles it yet. Thank you. Hey, hey um, this 70% of women in the fertility trial got pregnant. How, how big is the trial and what does it mean? Is it 
women that want to get pregnant or yeah uh, so basically the two main struggles of, of like pain points of women PCOS are infertility and weight loss um, we, we acquired a small cohort of 16 users who wanted to get pregnant and 70% uh, of them got successfully pregnant in the first 30 days and, and the weight the weight loss group it was about 80 84 in total we have acquired about uh, 100 clients so far and um, we you can see the retention rate and the results on the screen it's by the way it's the highest retention uh, rate on the market the retention of Noom is 65% so even though the product is raw we already outbid it and we also raised 700k from to date including from the founder of Flow Health which is also proves the, legit the legitimacy of the of the product so two questions. So the first one, like, what kind of clients are you focusing on? Because like, one thing is like, some women know they have the PCOS, and then, I, but also I think one of the biggest problems is that most of the women like they go for years undiagnosed. So how do you want to approach? Could you please that? repeat the last part? Could you please just hold microphone a bit closer? Uh, so, like, one of the problems with all of the hormonal diseases is that they are they go undiagnosed. So how do you want to approach educating the market? That's a very good, good question. Just two months ago. Uh, we finally uh, got a test that allows us to diagnose PCOS all 100% of cases remotely through the at-home test that we utilize here at Aspect as well. And that is the, the reason why 70% of women with PCOS were undiagnosed before, and only now we, would, we, we expect to see an, like a, 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 a finally resolution for the diagnostic problem. And just to make sure we also know this, PCOS is a metabolic disorder, so it's only first step for us. We're going to expand furthermore to all metabolic disorders affecting women uh, including uh, in perimenopause and menopause. And what's the LTV that you expect? Because like one case is women who, that have PCOS and sure. they want to get pregnant. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. And, but the other thing is how, to, how do you manage PCOS like, throughout the lifetime? Yeah, right now we offer only one subscription, which is 12 month subscription straight ahead for two and a half thousand dollars and we have 100 clients. How invasive is your uh, process? I mean, I've seen the glucose test and how will in invasive. I mean, you need to to bring the data also from uh, blood analysis and so on. Yeah, we basically uh, for 199 a month we provide you with uh, gl continuous glucose monitors, at home tests, and most of our clients have wearables. We just wrote a software which basically collects the data from continuous glucose monitors and from the at home test as well, and uh, feeds it into our ML model so it provides recommendations. We are pr producing software and an app. And y you are not uh, relying on certain type of devices. Is yeah, we're device agnostic. You have your own? No, we're device agnostic. Agnostic, okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Can you tell, talk more about competition? Is there like lots of apps for women like yeah. approaching them from different angles? That's a great question. Uh, I think I would divide our competition into two primary groups. The first is um, clinics, healthcare clinics. But 70% of women who would experience some sort of interaction with the healthcare in related, related to PCOS got dissatisfied with the, with the, with the result, which means the, the system in the US in the treatment of PCOS is fucked up. And the second group of uh, companies we compete with are lifestyle modification apps such as Noom, right? But they're not tailored for female. They don't take uh, any cycle data, any hormone data. They're not tailored to um, PCOS in particular because it's not calories in, calories out. I tried this for two years. I failed. And that's what made me to start diving deeper and looking into clinical biomarkers and glucose data. Thank you. Thank you. Time over. Sorry. I hope we will have time to talk soon. Thanks a lot.